Hi everyone, my name is Brittany from Esri Canada Technical Support. If you just purchased an ArcGIS desktop single-use license for the first time and are looking for some instructions, look no further. If you're transferring your license from one machine to another and can't remember how to do it, this is also the video for you. In this video, we will be talking about authorizing single-use core license for ArcGIS desktop via the internet. So let's get started. Along with your installation of ArcGIS Desktop, ArcGIS Administrator is part of the suite. Make sure to launch this as an administrator in order to make necessary changes. It is here where you can authorize your license, keep track of what kind of licenses you have, and also, um, if you are transferring your license from machine A to B, you must deauthorize them in this Support Operations folder and follow the deauthorization wizard instructions. In the Desktop folder, we'll select the ArcGIS Desktop license level that was purchased. If you're unsure, you can check in your My Esri account under My Organizations, Licensing tab, and in the View Authorizations option on the left. You can click Details on the desired product and delve into more details about your license, including your authorization code. But for the sake of this demo, we will be authorizing an ArcGIS Desktop Basic Level, Network Analyst, 3D Analyst, and Spatial Analyst extensions. And as we click Authorize Now, the Software Authorization Wizard pops up and we are presented with three options. If you haven't authorized any licenses yet, keep the first radio button. If you already authorized your licenses but want to add some extra extensions, select the second option. And the third option is if you've received a provisioning file. And we have another video coming out soon, so stay tuned. So let's click Next. And we'll authorize our license using the internet. Here, we'll need to enter our information, specifically the required field with the asterisk. Here, you can choose the categories that is most applicable to your field. Click Next. And now we can enter our core license code for ArcGIS Desktop. And if we have any extensions, and for this demo we will, here is the chance to copy and paste those respective ESU codes. And then now we can click Next. And here is the option to try out some popular extensions as a 60-day evaluation. If not, we can click Next. And this is where we wait to process the authorization. Once that is done, we are all set to launch an ArcGIS desktop program like ArcMap. and then we can click Finish. So today we covered the topic of authorizing an ArcGIS desktop single-use license in ArcGIS Administrator via the internet. Please ensure to deauthorize it beforehand whenever you're expecting to change machines, re-image your computer, or about to schedule a system update. I hope you found this video helpful and that I debunked some ArcGIS desktop licensing myths for you. If so, don't forget to like this video and feel free to leave comments and or suggestions below. Lastly, if you want to see more Esri Canada technical videos, you can subscribe to our channel using the subscribe button below the video. Happy mapping 
Thanks for watching and see y'all next time.